Welcome to the WP Training Kit video number three, how to buy hosting. In this video tutorial, we are going to show you how to buy hosting for your website and domain name, step by step. We are going to cover everything there's to know, so let's get started. Here we are back on GoDaddy.com to buy our hosting. Now we are going to sign in with our previous account with this sign in button here. Click on it. Enter your username and password. You can select Keep Me Sign In and then click on this Sign In button. Once logged in, you'll see your previous purchase details. Now click on this GoDaddy logo to again go to the Welcome page. Here in the menus, click on Hosting in this drop down menu list. We are going to select this web hosting option. It will redirect you to this page. Scroll down and you'll see here different hosting plans with their included features. So here we are going to select this economy plan. We'll click on this add to cart button here. And here it opens. On this page, we are going to select the time period. You can buy hosting for 3 months, 12 months, 24 months, or even 36 months. We are going to select 3 months hosting plan, and on the right side, you can see our billing amount is generated accordingly. So by default, website backup is added. You can also add other options as well if you want. Whatever you'll choose, charges will automatically add in your billing amount. So we don't want website backup, and hence, we'll select no thanks here. You can add it if you want and pay accordingly, but for me, it's not required. So yes, now I'm going to click on this continue button at the bottom. And here, I am again on the checkout page. As previously, I have added PayPal. So it is here by default. Now you can select the time period for your cPanel. You can choose it accordingly, and the longer time you choose, the lesser amount you'll have to pay for one month. I will choose it for one month, and there are other options also which you can add if you want. Click on the Complete Purchase button, and here the pop-up came up confirming our purchase. Now we have to select the domain for our hosting. Enter your domain name here and click on Next. Choose your data center based on your customer base locality. Here it is showing the top one as best recommended. You select it or another one, your choice, and click on Next. Now it's asking about creating a WordPress site. You can start the process right away or you can choose Not Now option. We will choose Not Now and click on Next. Then you have to create your mail account. You can choose any name you want, like admin, info, or update at yourdomainname.com. I will go with admin and then click on this finish button here. Now the processing has started and you can see it's loading. It will take a few minutes here. Okay, so it's finished here and you can go to your dashboard by clicking on this button and it's just asking about their customer experience improvement program. I will select no here and click confirm. Here you can see all the details about the RAM files. You can also upgrade it from here and your email details. Security options you can purchase if you want to. And this is your cPanel login details here which are important. So here it is, pretty much everything. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will learn about site redirection and how you can set it up for yourself. See you in the next video tutorial.